U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris's rally on Friday in Madison in Wisconsin continues a long tradition of Democratic candidates for president drawing huge crowds in the capital city of the battleground state. Harris attracted a capacity crowd of about 10,000 people at a stadium where Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders drew a similar size in July 2015, which was the largest Sanders rally up to that point. Her family lived in Wisconsin when she was growing up and her parents worked at the University of Wisconsin in Madison. She told the crowd of thousands she has Wisconsin, cred, and on a recent visit went by the house where her family lived. Every time I land the governor says, welcome home, Harris said. In her speech, Harris said she pledged to develop 3 million new homes, to build up inventory in the housing market as well as helping put down $25,000 in down payment assistance for first-time buyers so they can just get their foot in the door. Harris also blasted Donald Trump as a threat to women's freedoms and reproductive rights, parroting a similar warning from her Atlanta speech earlier Friday. During her speech Friday in Battleground, Georgia, Harris shared the story of Amber Thurman, a mother who decided to have an abortion after she became pregnant again. She developed sepsis and died while waiting more than 20 hours at the hospital for a routine medical procedure after taking abortion pills. The vice president said Thurman should be alive today. Wisconsin-Madison, and so we lived here for a period of time. So every time I land, the governor says, welcome home. <laughs> I also know we need to build more housing in America. You know, my mother saved up for years, and when I was a teenager, she was finally able to buy her first home. I know what that dream is like. I know what it is like for people to work hard and to save up and have a dream that is about the dignity of their work and an investment in their future, the future of their family, an investment in the pride they so rightly deserve because of their hard work. But right now on the affordable housing issue, look, we have a shortage of housing in America and it's contributing to driving up prices. So with my plan, we are going to cut red tape and work with the private sector to build three million new homes by the end of my first term. And, and provide first-time home buyers with $25,000 in down payment assistance so they can just get their foot in the door. And now in more than 20 states, we have Trump abortion bans, many with no exceptions even for rape and incest. It is immoral. It is immoral. And let us agree let us agree, one does not have to abandon their faith or deeply held beliefs to agree the government should not be telling her what to do. Not the government. Not the government. And yet, and yet in our debate, Donald Trump said that everyone wanted to overturn Roe. I have talked with folks who are here. I have talked with women around our country and the people who love them. 
Women are being denied care during miscarriages. Some only being treated once they develop sepsis. They didn't want this. And we know that women have died because of Trump abortion bans.